Greetings, this is Uncle Travelling Matt and here I am uh, on the second day, the morning of the second day of my trip to Pakistan. Um, this is my first video, despite being the second day, because last night I was so absolutely shattered um, that I, I didn't have the energy to make a video. Uh, and the reason for that is because basically for two nights I hadn't really slept very much. Uh, the night before was my fault, I stayed up chatting quite late online uh, and then had to get up a bit early in the morning to take the bus. Uh, I took the bus, there was a train strike, damn union say, um, and so I couldn't take the train, I took the bus down to Heathrow, uh, dozed a bit on the bus I'll be honest, uh, and then uh, had the best part of the day in Heathrow, I did some writing and catching up with people. And then uh, took a flight uh, first to uh, Oman, uh, Muscat, um, and uh, then onwards to um, to Islamabad. Um, the flight, the flights were good. All, all those Arabian airlines seem to be very, very good. Uh, to be honest, uh, I watched I watched a film called Bullet Train, which was uh, it was quite good fun, uh, a, like a kind of gangster film, a bit like Pulp Fiction type thing. Uh, and then fell asleep after that um, and then uh, so that was the first flight a uh, couple of hours in in uh, um, Muscat uh, I've been there before I am actually I do actually have a night there on the way back uh, but uh, so I can't really say I saw anything in Muscat this time around uh, and then uh, a much shorter flight onwards to Islamabad uh, my first impressions of Islamabad, well the airport uh, was a vast place, a lot less kind of third worldy than I expected, it was all quite efficient, it, it, it ran quite well, although rather dreary I felt, it was a, a bit of a, a dreary place, not helped by the weather as you can see today, it, it's warm but it's it's kind of overcast and just, just a bit dull really. Um, yeah, and it was the same yesterday. Uh, then I, I got a taxi um, to Ralpindi. Now, Ralpindi and Islamabad are two separate cities, but they're basically the same city. I mean, Ralpindi's the old bit, and then Islamabad's the new capital that they built on the edge. Uh, and the airport is, well, it's not in either of them, to be honest. And there was this huge, wide highway that I went down. So that was my kind of introduction to Pakistan, and it was just this vast, uh, almost empty highway uh, into the city and then I turned or well we turned off the um, off the road uh, that goes to Islamabad and onto the Ralpindi road and we, when we got into Ralpindi it got a lot uh, more congested and a lot uh, more kind of clogged up and stuff and, and a lot more typical kind of developing world um, yeah I mean the initial impression was it looks a bit like most developing world countries, um, you know. I'm reminding my time in Vietnam and the kind of roads that there was there. Um, it, yes, like India, but it seems cleaner than India, but a bit less colourful, perhaps. We'll see if that's uh, borne out with time. Uh, so anyway, I, we had a problem with the hotel. I, I booked Uncle the Shining Star near the railway station, um, and then when I got there, they just refused to take me. Uh, they didn't explain why because they didn't speak English. Um, but they directed me next door and the guy in the hotel next door was a really, really nice guy. Um, and he was a Kashmiri guy. He had family in Belgium. He had me ringing his uncle up in Belgium. But um, he was saying the police won't let them take foreigners. And he, he said, I'll give you the room for free. But they won't let us take them. And it seems to be about it being election time. So I think normally you are allowed to stay in those hotels. Uh, but with it being election time, they're a bit tetchy at the moment. Um, so that's that. But um, yeah, so couldn't stay in the hotel book. So this taxi driver called Wahid, who was a mate of the guy who ran the second hotel, uh, he kind of, you know, took me around. And we, we went to a few places. We went to the Pearl Continental, which is the, the luxury hotel. But that was like 47000 a night, which is more than I'd pay in London. Um, and I ended up in this one called the Royalton. Uh, on Liequa Road, which that sounds quite Chinese, and maybe it is because they have some partnership with Chinese that they've named a road after them. But uh, that one was seven thousand. Which uh, I, I think the one I booked was four thousand something, um, three hundred to the pound. 
Uh, and it, but it was nice, uh, and you know, it, it came with a breakfast and stuff. So okay, I'm 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 okay with that. Um, yeah, so that was that. Um, I, oh, then after we'd done that, uh, he took me to the railway station, and I booked my tickets for my train on to Lahore, which is this evening. Um, and then um, I kind of caught up with people, let people knew that know that I got here safely, and then went for a little wander. And I went for a wander along College Road Bazaar, which is, you know, just this street uh, full of different shops selling everything, and. Um, they had a meal in a restaurant that seemed to specialise in fish. None of it was in English, uh, so I had to point at what I wanted. But I had this like fried fish with, you know, like raita and like chili sauce and and a cup of tea, and it was nice. It was a very pleasant meal actually. So that was that, and then I went back and uh, slept. And I slept probably on and off. I, mean, I woke up a few times, but I probably slept over 12 hours. And I'm feeling pretty good now. And so I'm in the little park. I did have a walk in this park last night, but this this park is um, is across the road from the hotel, and I'm waiting for my taxi, and I'm going to go and have a look at Islamabad. Now I was thinking I might look around Royal Pindi today, but I drove around a lot of it yesterday, and to be honest, there's not a lot there. Um, you know, they talk about these historical buildings, but like one's the church. I think it's St Paul's. Could be St Peter. I think it's St Paul's, church. and it's literally it's literally Victorian. Um, you know, I've seen no old mosques, I've seen no old anything, really, and I just don't think there's a lot in Ralpindi. Um, so, I'm going to go to Lahore, uh, Lahore, well, I'm going to go to Lahore, but I'm going to go to Karachi, uh, no, not Karachi, I'm going to go to Islamabad, look at the, um, there's a, a, a famous mosque that is in all the pictures, built by a sheikh of Saudi, I think, and uh, then um, I'm going to... Um, also, I think there's a shrine somewhere I quite fancy checking out. So have a look around Islamabad and then get back in the evening for the train down to Lahore. So that is that. Um, my, yeah, I mean, what do I make of Pakistan? It's very friendly. It's a very friendly place. Everyone's really friendly. They, they seem to have this really dated opinion of the English as being, you know, nice gentlemen. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I am the only tourist, like literally, I was the only non-Pakistani or overseas Pakistani on the plane, and I haven't seen another tourist yet. And um, if that isn't telling, I don't know what is. But there we are, so I am in Ralpindi, Uncle Travelling Map. Keep travelling.